We've got some breaking news right now, a major shakeup that will affect both the race for governor of Florida and the local congressional race. CBS 4's Jim DeFitti is breaking this story tonight. He joins us now. And Jim, this news involves Democratic State Senator Annette Tadeo. Uh, that's correct. Uh, Net Tadeo told me that she is abandoning her run for governor, where she was running against Charlie Crist and Nikki Fried to be the Democratic nominee to take on Ron DeSantis. And instead, she's moving to run against Maria Elvira Salazar, the Republican congresswoman, a freshman Republican, who represents the sort of southeast portion of Miami-Dade County. Now, this is uh, big news, but it's also not unexpected. And when I asked Tadeo today why she made the decision, this is what she had to say. I had a decision to make. I could stay in a bruising primary or I could uh, fight in this congressional. But ultimately, it came down to a conversation I had with my daughter, uh, who really felt uh, that this, this is where I needed to be. This is where I needed to go fight. And like all the children in our community, we have failed them. And again, after Buffalo and Uvalde, so many of us are, are sitting here feeling helpless. And I'm not going to stand on the sidelines and not go in there and fight and fight and also represent our community with distinction, with pride, with honesty. That's what we're lacking in our community and in our country. All right, Jim, let's stay with the governor's race here for a moment. How does this change the dynamic of that race now that Tadeo is out? Well, let's be honest. Annette Tadeo was not doing well in that governor's race primary. She was third. She was distant in both money and in the polls. So this now, though, it does have the effect of focusing the race between Nikki Fried and Charlie Crist. There's an advantage there for Nikki Fried in the sense that she finally now gets to have a one-on-one -on -one race against Charlie Crist, who at this point is the clear front runner. And even though Annette dropped out of the race, I asked her if she was planning on making an endorsement. She said no. The other thing I will tell you that I thought was really interesting was I asked if she thought that either Freed or Chris could still go on and beat, Char uh, beat Ron DeSantis. And she really never answered my question. But we'll have more of that later. And Jim, this seems late to get into that congressional race. What is that race going to look like now? Yeah, the filing deadline is fast approaching. You know, first she has to deal with a primary opponent in the congressional race. She's going to be running against Ken Russell, the Miami City Commissioner, who himself abandoned his bid for a Senate race against Marco Rubio because he knew he couldn't beat Val Demings. Now, this is going to be a nasty race if, uh, if again, if today was the nominee, and the likelihood is that she probably will be, if she is the nominee, this is, she signaled today just how nasty this is going to be. In my interview with her, she said that she she considers Salazar to be a demagogue, a liar, and an embarrassment for the community. So she plans on coming in pretty hot against Salazar. Uh, the Republicans are going to spend a lot of money in that congressional race to maintain Salazar. And I will tell you, this is one of the few seats in the entire nation that Democrats are looking at, hoping to turn from a red seat to a blue seat in a year that is going to heavily favor Republicans. So this is going to be an interesting contest that's going to get some national attention. Yeah, it's a once held by Donna Shalala, of course, we'll be following it very closely. Jim, thank you very much. Jim, thanks.